Hi guys, it's Denma again. Um, I got something in the mail a few days ago. Um, I've been really excited to share with you. Um, it's just, I'm trying to take pictures of it and the weather's not been cooperating. So anyway, here I am gonna try to do this. Um, there's a little bit of a story behind this item that I got. Um, I've been having a really hard time mentally. I have anxiety. Um, not depression all the time, but I have bouts of where I go through a depressive state along with my anxiety, and it's hard to get over. Um, especially since Anton Yelton died, I have not recovered from that. Um, and I will literally break down if I see something about him or whatever um, that I'm not prepared to see. Uh, so, anyway, um, I was, like, I'm at my wit's end with anxiety, and I'm on medication for it, so no worries, but um, I have a friend on Facebook, um, Elise Nichelle. I'm hoping I'm saying that right, Nichelle Walker. I will link all of her social media info in the description box below. Um, and she makes candles that are blessed. Um, I don't know if you consider her Wiccan, Pagan, but um, I happened to ask her if she knew of any store or if she, um, that I could get a candle because I know that they have candles that can bring you luck or money or whatever and she herself she's just starting to make them so she sent me one for free which was amazing 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 um uh the only trick is I had to share her stuff which is fine because I do not mind promoting her I mean she was such a sweetheart to do this um so she asked me what I wanted in the candle um so she blessed it with um or dressed it with jinx remover protection she put a bit of catnip in there um and she also did um healing for my heart we all i have really bad heart issues and actually next week i'm going to the doctor to see how my heart is pumping they're going to put a catheter in and i'm really nervous about that so um she did it like overnight it was really quick and then she's like well you can pick any deity of your choice to kind of like I guess put it on your altar or whatnot ever you have um I'm kind of nervous about talking about it I'm so excited about it it's just like uh but um yeah so I was like well I only really know a lot about Greek and Egyptian gods and goddesses. I used to really research this stuff back in the day, but I lost all my books in the move, so um, I was like, well, let me go with Bastet. Okay, I know everybody's gonna think that it's just because she's the cat god. No, she is so much more. She is um, often portrayed with kittens. Um, she's the goddess of good mothership, I guess is a, a term for it. Um, she also was per seen... Whoopsie! Oh, uh oh! There we go. Not my tripod over. Sorry! Um, she was also seen with... I'm trying to read off some of the stuff that I wrote back from her on my Facebook. Um, with ointments and stuff when they were doing the embalming so they kind of got her as a goddess of healing and then also her original form was a lion warrior goddess I was like yes I can really use that on my side right now so just the fact that she is a cat goddess is a bonus so I've even got stuff that I'm going to make a little altar with. I've got some crystals and stuff that I'm going to order um, next month. And I've got a little shelf I need to get so I can actually make a legit altar for them. Um, there, that window right there, there's another one on the other side. And that's where I'm going to put it. Um, that way I can have a real altar for her candle. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. Anyway. 
Um, so she made that, got it in like three days, and it's just, I can't wait to show it to you. Um, it smells so good. I didn't even have to open the box and I can smell it. I don't, I don't know what the scent is, but oh my gosh, it smells good. Um, the first time I got it, I took it out there to, to my camper where I live. Um, and I put it up some, cause it's got, it does have catnip in it. I don't want my cats getting into it and tearing it up. So I put it in a cabinet. Um, and just after having it, holding it, I don't know if it's just a pseudo effect, but I felt better just in general. I just felt like the weight was lifted off of my shoulders. And that night I had like the best dreams I've had in a while. They just brought me the most peace and calm feeling and usually when I have dreams like this that involve this person, Anton Yelchin, um, I wake up and I cry and I get sad because he's no longer with us and all that. But that day I just, I was just happy in a good mood. It was just, and it was just nice. I keep stuttering. <laughs> I'm nervous and I'm excited and I, oh gosh, I need to calm down. And I really, really, really think this candle did it. And it's, it's just amazing. But let me get to the fun part. Here's the candle. Um, it's in the lace. And the lace actually has glitter in it. There we go. You can see a little bit of it, the shimmer. I'm really nervous about opening it because I've been wanting to open it for so long. I've had it about a week and I've been slacking on trying to get it updated up there but there you go nice it's gorgeous so now we get to do the fun part and unwrap it oh can't wait because there are like little inscriptions and stuff on it so all right let's see if i can do this without scissors so i really don't even want to burn it because it's like a work of art it's just but i guess that's how the thing works so but just having it here, like I said, I felt a lot better, um, more comfortable. So, it might just be my mind playing tricks on me. It might really be the candle, but I really, really think it's the candle. Honestly, I just, it's just, it's a relief knowing I have something. Because I'm not really religious, so that's why I went down this route and I, went, I knew she um, was into that stuff, and I didn't want to open a door that I couldn't close, you know, like with the Ouija board, you play with that, you might get something stuck with you, and I didn't want, I didn't want to go down that route, so anyway, I need to see, there you go, that's what it looks like, let's see, make, make sure, no, no, my cats are smelling the catnip now, so I already had Quinn on it. She was rubbing on it and got the drool all over it, so it's wrapped in a crossways with two pieces of lace. And then you have the candle itself. Let's see, it's in a nice plastic bag make sure everything stays sealed so we'll take that out oh my gosh it smells so good oh gosh I wish you guys could smell it so what was cool is she put Bastet on the candle so and then it's got the herbs and the whatever she used usually it's herbs and then the special blessings on it. I guess they're called blessings. Um, yes, blessings. Um, and the dressings are what she has on top. And then it's like red, green, or not red, but like a brownish and green. So again, there's Bastet. And then the Egyptian. And then that's just the bottom, just like the whole candle. But it smells oh, so good. 
It's like, it smells almost like those really, really fancy soaps that you never actually use. You just sat them in the bathroom. And my grandma used to have some and they smelled, they were like shells. I don't know what they're called. But that's what it reminds me of. It's so beautiful. And... I'm speechless. I mean, she didn't have to do this for free or anything. Um, she could have just said, yeah, I charge however much, but she did. And it just, acts of kindness, it just blows you away. So, anyway, there it is, our best at. Yes, queen. There's those markings. And then just the herbs and stuff that she used. Like I said, they're on the top too, and it's just one wick candle. So, there's that. I'm so happy with it. I mean, it's just, oh, it just puts me at ease. I don't know what it is. It's just, see, I'm not even stuttering now. I'm just calm now that I've opened it. I'm, I'm here. It's just, you know. Anyway, I'll stop rambling, I swear. But anyway, my friend, Elise Nichelle. Or Nichelle Walker. She's the one to go to. Um, she's starting, I think she's going to start a store up. Or she's working on a website. But you can get her on Facebook. She has Instagram. She has Tumblr she just started. So I will link her in from below. You can hit her up. See if you can get, if you ever need a candle. I mean, even if you're not into this type of stuff. And if you're at your wits and, and you, you want to try something different. Just please try it. You can't. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, so. Yes. Here it is. And I'm going to take some better pictures tomorrow in the daylight. It's just so pretty. So pretty. It smells so good. I like having it here. So. Anyway. Thank you Elise so so much. Um, for giving me this candle and letting me do this. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you get many, many sales and many, many candle buyers in the future. And I definitely when I burn this one and give this one's gone, I'll do it. I'll get another one. So, anyway, that's my video for today. I'm finally get to see it. But anyway, thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm trying to keep in that lens. Huh. So much to learn about YouTube. But thank you for watching, visiting me. I've got, I think, 13 subscribers now. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I have that to be thankful for. And I love you guys. And I will see you next time in the next video. Mwah. Bye-bye.